Good evening, hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking about BGB emulation, so get ready. All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about BGB, uh, which is your Game Boy emulator. Uh, it also does Game Boy Color and Super Game Boy. So you can find this emulator pretty much anywhere, guys. Uh, if uh, you don't like this site, you can go somewhere else, but Emulator Zone does a pretty good job, and it's not under the fire of everything else, uh, as you guys know. But again, em emulators in general, uh, you know, those are fair games. So uh, if I scroll down from uh, BGB and click on this link, I'm going to download it. It actually looks like it's recently been updated. Uh, I've got, um, I think, 1.5.3 maybe or 2. Um, so I'm interested to see what updates have been made to this. But uh, yeah, just download that and you'll get a zip file. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to your... Uh, emulators folder which is under your hyperspin root folder and so it looks like I've placed this in uh, Game Boy Color uh, folder uh, but you can name your folder whatever you'd like BGB or Game Boy whatever it might be uh, the folder doesn't really matter here uh, because Rocket Launcher is gonna do all your work here guys and just unzip it in this uh, new folder you're gonna see a couple files here like you see this uh, here and BGB XE is uh, what we're gonna be uh, playing in. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back to the uh, browser here to cover a couple of other loose ends. Next, we're gonna go to uh, Hyperspin, uh, the download section. You'll find uh, box art, cart art, wheel art. Uh, there's actually some pretty good uh, sizable media here uh, to kind of get you started here, guys. So I'll include all these descriptions or links in the descriptions uh, below. And then Hyperlist, if uh, you need the XML, you're going to go straight down here to uh, the Game Boy uh, section here. And you're going to click on the XML to download it. And you'll place that in your uh, Hyperspin database folder. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, back out of here. We're going to go to Databases. We're going to scroll down to... Uh, Nintendo Game Boy and this is where you're going to be placing it so um, since you guys probably don't have the system up and running yet what we're going to go do next is the uh, Hyper HQ we're going to go to main menu wizard and push the plus sign and then click uh, add new system you're going to type in Nintendo space game space boy and what you're gonna do uh, is hit next and it's gonna say congratulations. And then you're gonna go back to this wheel settings and click uh, Game Boy from the dropdown. And then what we're gonna do is match up all these tabs like uh, how I've got it. Hyper launch and disable are gonna be set to false. The use game path is gonna be set to enable. Sub folders is gonna be disabled. The extensions are gonna be zip, comma, GB, comma, GBC. Hyper Launch XE Nintendo Game Boy game name is going to be your command line. And then the executable is going to be wherever you put that BGB XE uh, at. And then your game path is going to be wherever you put your uh, games. Next, we're going to go to wheel. I've customized the wheel, so I'm going to go to alpha 0.15 because I kind of like a fade approach. And uh, if you guys modified any of the settings and locations, you'll modify that. Navigation and themes, we're going to go to uh, animate out default themes and reload backgrounds. This you want to do on all of your systems. Uh, everything else is pretty much a uh, user preference here. Video is going to be, uh, it can be blank or you can have this path here of where your media folder is. Uh, by default, it, you know, if it's blank, it's going to pick this folder up. So this was one of the first systems that I had a uh, setup, so you can dismiss that. Sounds we've got there, and special art. So I, I chose uh, special art to display. 
uh, at the bottom of the screen in the top right of my uh, screen for genre art. So if you have that stuff, go ahead and uh, uh, include that as well. And you've got Hyper HQ all set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. And what you'll notice is you will have a media folder under Hyperspin Media. You're gonna have a system now called Nintendo Game Boy, which is here. And you can ignore this game start. So I'm kind of an old timer here. Uh, this was uh, the pre-Rocket Launcher uh, debut here. Uh, just for funsies, uh, the game start basically allowed you to have a loading screen. Yeah, ooh, ah, guys. Uh, now we've got some fancy pants uh, loading screens, uh, fade-ins. So, uh, you know, th those are no longer needed. So uh, that, that was just sort of a trick that uh, the old version uh, used to support. So uh, anyway, you'll have images, sounds, themes, and videos by default. We're going to minimize this. And we're going to set this up into Rocket Launcher now. Uh, so first things first, we're going to go to Global Settings here. And you're going to click Emulator. And if you do not see BGB here, you'll push the plus sign and you'll get this to display, but everything will be blank. Uh, if you see that uh, BGB, just double click it and you'll see this. You'll have BGB filled in. You'll select the path of your XE and the extensions are going to be 7Z pipe, zip pipe, GB pipe, and GBC. The module is going to be BGB uh, auto hotkey and then you're going to close out of that and you've got that thing set up here so let's go ahead and go down to Nintendo Game Boy and the pane here and what you're going to do is go to the settings and you're going to mirror everything that I've got set up here we've got hide cursor uh, set to false it looks like uh, hide front end, I've got set to true. Your computer might be a little different, so that hide front end uh, you might not need to do, but it worked for me. Everything else is set to uh, use global, and it looks like skip checks is set to false. So if you want to see what all these use globals uh, mean, go ahead and take a look at my rocket launcher uh, uh, step one video to uh, kind of see what all that is. Next, we're going to go to Fade General. Uh, it looks like everything's set to default. We've got the default fade in, default fade out. Kind of scan in here, guys. Yep, that looks good. And let's see. Bezels. I've got bezels set to uh, true, essentially. That's what that use global is. Uh, the handheld systems, guys. Uh, you really want to use a bezel it really makes the thing look so much better so uh, just keep that in mind and uh, if you need bezels uh, definitely let me know uh, I've got a wide collection of them uh, made by a number of different uh, I'm gonna call them artists and uh, yeah so use bezels guys it's good uh, let's see now the emulators tab, since we've set this up in the global settings, we've got BGB available when you click the magnifying glass and you're just going to double click BGB. You're going to select the game path folder to the, the, the game path uh, under emulators and uh, just find the location of your game by pushing the plus sign here. And next we're going to go to modules. And just something to point out here, I'm going to click BGB. I'm going to click the little paper uh, icons here. You're going to see some extra notes that are always helpful when you're setting these guys up. What you got to do is when you find the BIOS uh, file, you need to rename it to exactly how it's displayed here, uh, the BIOS.GBC. Uh, and what you're going to do is uh, place it in your directory of wherever you installed BGB. Uh, you're just going to throw the file in there and then you're going to just modify uh, the settings in uh, BGB and you'll have this thing up and running in no time guys so we're actually almost done uh, so let's see here I'm going to close out of this and since we've got this set up uh, the emulator in the global settings it's already set for us to launch I'm going to just click BGB I'm going to push this little uh, play button it's going to pop that thing right up 
you're going to see a little uh, background. It might not be the same color here because I've modified some colors to make it look authentic. And to get to the settings, we're going to right click. And a couple things that we got to set up here. Um, just kind of looking here to make sure uh, window size. I've got this set to three by three. Uh, your computer might vary, but that works for me. Sound channels, I've got them all set to check. And let's see here. Well, out of curiosity, let's see what version. 1.5.1. So there's actually been a couple versions. So this thing's still moving. So that's, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to have to update uh, or see if it's worth updating. I'm sure there's going to be some tinkering uh, involved here. So this is 1.5.1 uh, for what it's worth. Uh, but the settings really shouldn't be changing all that much because uh, I'm sure it's just compatibility that they're adding. Uh, so what we're going to do is go to options and what we're going to do is just go through these tabs real fast. Sound, I've got sound card set to check. High quality set to check. I've got BGB as uh, the wave rider it looks like. I think all this came default by the way guys. I think I might have had a chosen 44100. I've got volume set to negative uh, 2.4, latency 57. And we're going to go to GB colors. Now this is what's going to be fun for you guys. Uh, what I think uh, is most authentic is 224, 248, 208. And I've, uh, it kind of selects the coloring uh, scheme. Uh, but as you guys know, the original Game Boy, you could kind of play with the colors. You can make it super dark or really light. I seem to always have played it on the lighter scale, and that's why I uh, went with that. I've got Select All, and then Schema, uh, BGB, LCD Green. We're going to keep on going here, guys. So the Joypad, what you're going to do is select this to Joypad 0, and you're going to select Configure Keyboard. And what you're going to do is you're going to just press... I basically do everything that it says here. Press and hold the button for the right. You're going to go through that and uh, it's going to register each one and you'll uh, fulfill each one of these buttons. And I I, I use Blissbox when I'm using uh, a game controller so just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, you know if you're using a keyboard I do recommend that you use Joy2 Key as well as your uh, mapper. Uh, so when you are using a controller, you can use any controller and it will map to the correct key. So I definitely recommend that uh, Joy2 key. Check that video out if you haven't already. And I've got uh, game controller works only if app has focus. I've got that set to true. Keyboard works only if the app is in focus. I've got that set to true. Then we're going to go to miscellaneous. So you're going to find the path to your games. And then you're going to uh, also find a path to your save files. I do recommend when you are finding a path to your save files, you're going to want to go to Rocket Launcher and you're going to go to data and you're going to create a folder that says uh, save states and so you'll have a folder for each one of your systems and that's going to be the location that the file uh, saves your states. I've got show errors on uh, uh, game load. Um, I guess you could uncheck that if you wanted to. Uh, show warnings, I've got that uh, also set um, to true. Auto convert saves, reduce CP usage, uh, and yeah, so the, all that I think comes default there, but we're going to keep on going here, guys. Graphics, we've got uh, disable SGB colors. Uh, the screen, I've got 640 by 480. Uh, Rocket Launcher is going to take care of that for you. I've got, uh, it looks like background BMP. I'm pretty sure that came default, um, you know, when installing this uh, emulator. I've got this thing set to enabled and uh, I've got the show borders set to disabled because I, I want this uh, fitting in a bezel nicely. Systems, I've got this automatic, prefer GBC. Doesn't really matter here, guys, as long as you uh, select automatic here. I've got these items checked. Uh, saves and such and then this is uh, important guys you're gonna make sure that this boot uh, games enabled is checked and then you're gonna have the exact name that rocket launcher displayed uh, in here this uh, GBC boot so 
just uh, make sure that that file name is all the way uh, in there, including the BIOS uh, and the brackets, Nintendo, Game Boy, and then World at the end. So uh, that's all you got to put in there. We're going to go to debug. Everything comes here by default, I believe, but you can match these settings here. And then ex uh, exceptions here. Emulate is in... <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm not sure what that does, but I'm pretty sure this uh, all came default as well. I don't believe I made any uh, changes here. So um, that is it, guys, for the G uh, BGB, and uh, you'll hit apply and then OK, and you'll have this thing uh, running now. So you can uh, close out of here by right-clicking and then pushing escape, and that is it, guys. So you've got... Uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, um, all set up, and uh, also uh, uh, the Super Game Boy. So you've got three systems. Uh, this is a bang for your buck sort of thing, and uh, I hope that helps you guys, and we'll catch you next time. All right, bye.